At the end of the tutorial, you will have made this completely customizable particle system. First you need a 3D mesh for the system. I will show you how to quickly create one in Blender. You can also use a mesh that is available in Unreal Engine or just download this mesh, it's the first link in the description. In Blender, create a new icosphere. Now before you click on anything else, go to add icosphere at the bottom left and set the subdivision to 1. Then scale the model to a tenth of the size and export it as an FBX. Just make sure to set smoothing to face on export. Back in Unreal import the 3D model without creating a new material instance. Then create a new empty Niagara system under a fix and give it a name. Then create a new Niagara emitter under a fix. Click on next and select empty emitter. Now open the Niagara emitter. First click on emitter update and select spawn per unit. This option will only spawn the particle if the object is moving. I will set the spawn spacing to 5, so that more particles are spawned and it looks better. Delete the sprite renderer under render and create a new mesh renderer. Under meshes we can now select our mesh that we created in Blender. Here you can also select your own mesh or use one from Unreal Engine that suits you. Nothing will happen yet. Save everything and open the Niagara system next. Here we can select our new emitter, at the bottom left under track and emitters in the parent emitter category. Save everything and close the window briefly. If we now drag the system into the level and move the object, we can see that the particles are spawned but have no movement or color yet. Now we will open the particle emitter again. Under initialize particle, we can change the lifetime of the individual particles. To do this, click on the down arrow on the right and select random range float. You will then receive a random lifetime from the minimum to maximum value for each individual particle. I will set it to 0.2 and 0.5. Now we can change the size to random uniform under mesh scale mode. Here I set 0.6 and 1. So, now we can set the initial mesh rotation under particle spawn. To do this we activate rotation, then we click on the down arrow and select random range vector. Now we can close the window again and see how it looks now. It already looks better. Under particle update, we now create a scale mesh size option. Here we set the scale factor to vector from curve. That's it. Now save and see how it looks. Alright, we are almost done. Next we create a new material. Give it a name and open it. First, set the blend mode to additive and the shading model to unlit. Then create a particle color node and set it as our base color. Now save everything and create an instance of the material. That's it. Now we can go back to the emitter. Click on Enable Material Overrides. Add an element to the array and set the explicit material to the instance we have created.
Now you can save everything and create a color option under Particle Update. Click on the down arrow, select color from curve and set the colors you want. And that's it. Subscribe and like if the video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and bye.